There are many reasons to password protect a page on your website, and WordPress allows you to do that quite easily. However, unless you're a web developer, there's no easy way to control the design, the look and feel of the page, or any other functionality, and you're kind of stuck with this boring look based on your theme. In this video, you will learn how to use SeedProd to take full control over customizing a password protected page in WordPress. Hi, my name is Chris from SeedProd, the number one landing page builder for WordPress. SeedProd allows you to create many different types of landing pages with our visual drag and drop editor. By using SeedProd, you can now take advantage of the space on these pages to add things such as your website's branding, a custom message, social media buttons, contact forms, links to other products and services, to collect emails, and much more. You now have full control over engaging engaging your visitors, as well as improving SEO on these pages. As a bonus tip, stick around to the end of the video and I will show you how you can grow your email list quite easily. So the first thing we're gonna do is come over to our WordPress dashboard and we're going to install SeedProd. So head on over to seedprod.com and for the demonstration in this video, I'm going to be using the pro version of SeedProd. So go ahead and get a copy of that. And once you have an account, let's go ahead and click on login. On the left hand side here, let's enter your email and password that you used to sign up with and then click the login button. And this will bring you to the overview of the dashboard for SeedProd. Now we can click on the downloads button and we wanna click the big orange button here on the right side to download the plugin itself. We also have the license key down here. We can click the little icon here to copy that because we'll need that to paste into SeedProd for the license. Now we're currently all done with this so we can close this window and come back to WordPress. Let's go over to plugins and add new and upload plugin. Now if you see the same tab at the bottom here you can just take that zip file and drag it and drop it right here and then click install. Otherwise you can just select the file on your hard drive and then click install now. Let's activate the plugin. And now it's asking you for your license key. So we're gonna paste that in here and click verify key. And you should see a little success message here up in the top right corner if everything went well. So let's talk about WordPress and the password protection. Let's go to pages and add new. And when you create a new page, there's the public section here for visibility. You can click on this and actually change this to password protected. And then in here you could put a password. So let's just call this, say, seed prod as our password. And then we'll say secret page. And then down here would be members only content or whatever is protected by the password. So we can go ahead and publish this. And this is how WordPress does this. So this is the actual password page that we'll be using seed prod to customize and design with. Right now it looks very boring. It's, it's based off your theme that you have installed and there's no way to really customize it unless you're a web developer and you know HTML and CSS and then you could do it yourself if you like. So then we would just go ahead and put in our password here and click enter and then that would take us to that member content. But instead what we're gonna do is that first page, let's use Seedprod to actually customize the way that looks. All right, so I'm just coming back to my pages. I'm gonna get rid of that one and we'll create a new one and we'll just call this say 25 tips for selling online and maybe this could be an offer that you're offering people and maybe you have a PDF file or maybe a video or something that you want to have behind a password protected area. So we'll just say maybe a download link to a PDF file or an ebook. And then of course you would style this page. You could actually use SeedProd to build a landing page for this page as well. But this video, we're just focusing on the password protected page and customizing that. So let's go ahead and publish this. We're not putting a password or anything on it here. We're gonna use SeedProd for that. So now we just have a normal page. And if we view that, we can open that here. Here's our URL. Here's what the page looks like and then people could download the PDF file if we had one right here. So right now there's no password on it whatsoever. So let's come down to seed prod and click on pages. And we need to use the coming soon mode or the maintenance mode. These two have access controls that we can use to determine which pages are password protected. So let's go ahead and use the coming soon mode. So let's set up a coming soon page here. And now we're presented with a bunch of templates that we can use. So we're gonna select one of these and they're filtered here as well. So if you're trying to make a 404 page or webinar or whatever, you could use those as well. So I'm just gonna use this one here called lead squeeze weight and I'll import that. And now we can use this and customize this for creating our password protected page. So let's go ahead, we can brand this if we want. We could add video. We have blocks over here that we can just drag and drop. This is a complete visual editor so we can you know, if you want a video here, just drag it over and we could click the options here and put in your URL and it's just as easy as that. So I'm just gonna keep this example quite simple. So I'm gonna get rid of the header, but you could keep that up there. And now we'll just customize this page a little bit to what we're doing here. All right, so I just changed the text here a little bit and we can maybe make this one a little bit bigger. 
And now we just need to add the password field. You could also change the graphic here if you want. I actually like it, I'm gonna keep it, but you could get rid of it and you could use your own image or a stock photo. So say you could type in here a book because we're doing an ebook. And maybe you could find an image that you like that works. Uh, this one looks fine. You could, you could use something like that. Instead, I'm gonna just go undo here. And I just noticed this bar is still here, so I'm gonna close that. We don't need that anymore right now. And now we're gonna get rid of this field. And we wanna actually add the password field where they will enter the password. So on the left side, we'll come down to advanced and custom HTML. Let's just drag that box over and we'll click the little cog wheel here. And we just gotta add a short code in here. So if we come back over to seedprod.com, we can come down to the bottom of the page and click on documentation. And then we have some documentation here that we can use, click on pages. And then if we come down, we have the bypass URL and password protection. I'll add a link to this in the description. I just wanted to show you where you could find this information. If we come down, you can read this if you like, but what we're looking for is a short code right here. So we have seed bypass form. So we could use this one, or there's the longer form which has a return URL. So what would happen if we use this one? It would add a form here to enter your password. But once you enter it and hit enter, it would actually return you to the main page of your website and not the members only page where they would download the PDF. So we actually wanna use this one right here and we can copy that and paste this. And then we just need to update the URL. So when they add their password, where are they actually going to be going? So we have the page created here. Let's copy this and just paste this in here and make sure you have these little quotes in here so it doesn't break. So you won't see the preview in here yet until we save it and we can click the preview here. So let's go ahead and do that. Save and preview and there we go. We can see our little password field here. Now we didn't set up the actual password yet so let's go ahead and do that. Let's come under page settings here and we have the access control. This is where we can control the password and, and who gets access. So right here we're looking at bypass URL and this is actually where we put the password. So whatever you wanna call it, say secret or whatever, this is the actual word that they would use in the password field. However, you could also just send people this URL directly and when they click on it, they will bypass that page and go directly to the PDF file. You can also control when it expires. So every two hours, they would have to re-enter that password, access by IP, access by role, and include and exclude URLs if you need to do that as well. Hi everybody, future Chris here. I missed a step in the video, so I just wanted to, to clarify at the below, include and exclude URLs. We're currently showing it on the entire website. We actually just wanna show it on this one page. So let's go ahead and grab this URL and we'll go include URLs and we'll just paste that in here. Okay, and then we'll save that once you're done and you can continue on with the rest of the video. Thank you. So let's go ahead and save this as well. And I'm not gonna publish it quite yet. Let's actually click the X here to back out. And there's one more step that we need to do to activate it. Right here, there's a little inactive button. We wanna click this to make sure that the coming soon mode is active and we're using that. And you'll see this little orange banner up in the top right corner. And I think we're ready. And now that we put that active, this page will notice is actually published just by clicking that button. So here we are, here's the preview for this. Now you could get past this page in two different ways. Like I mentioned before, you could just type in secret and then people that have this URL could access the page or they could type it in here. So I'm gonna type it in here and click enter. And now you can see that that redirected us to this page. And there you go, you now have a password protected page where people could come if they have the, that password and they could now download your link to a PDF file or a video or whatever content or service you're offering to people. Now, if you're going to be offering user accounts and a lot of member content, then I highly recommend you check out memberpress.com. And this is a plugin that is excellent for managing membership websites. A password protected page can be fine, but sometimes you need to go a step further to manage your users and all of your protected pages. And this is an excellent plugin to use for that. So as a bonus, I just want to show you how you could collect people's emails. I'm just going to explain it. I'm not going to completely hook it up for you, but I just wanted to show you that you could come down here and take an opt-in form and you could drop this in and you could do the name, email and name or whatever you want click the options. Maybe you only want their email here and we could change the submit button to say get password. So now we can actually hook this up 
to an email marketing service. So if we click on connect up here, you could now hook up Active Campaign or MailChimp or ConvertKit or whatever your favorite service is. And you could set up an autoresponder or some type of email. So when people come over here, they can enter your email address and then get an automated message where it would provide them with the password that they can use to log into this page to grab the PDF file. This way you're collecting emails where you can contact them in the future for future leads. And in return, they're getting the PDF file or whatever you are giving them for an offer. It's very easy to set up. Just connect, make sure you have an account, click connect, go through the process and then just set up a simple auto reply. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you found it helpful. Check out this video next if you'd like to learn how to create a coming soon page using the Seed Prod Visual drag and drop editor. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.